Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mafia Definitive Edition. When we last left off, Tommy basically had to break into a high-level criminal prosecutor's house to steal a whack of evidence linking him and the rest of the Salieri family to the murder of Counselor Galati's son. It did not go smoothly, to, to say the least. It was, a, it was a shit show, for lack of a better term, but Tommy ended up shooting his way out and got away with the evidence. And for those that watched that video, you'll very, very vividly remember me making a slow speed getaway in the largest land yacht I could find. It wasn't pretty, but we did get away with it. Tommy also accompanied Polly and Sam later in the video, as well as Carlo, who is Don Salieri's driver, to meet up with Gaines. And Gaines is a, he's a whiskey bootlegger from Kentucky, and he'd agreed basically to sell his family's booze to the Salieri family instead of Morello, because Morello had changed the terms of their deal and punched him in the face. So he was a little sore from it and decided to start doing business with the Salieri family instead. However, predictably, Morello sends a whack of goons to disrupt the meeting. It's a complete shit show. There's a shootout. Tommy and company end up shooting their way out and make off with the whiskey shipment. So, last episode. Full of excitement and gunplay, but let's see what Part 8 has in store for us now. Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Woken up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. By 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Why? Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take, but once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. That was the missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up, but he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. of his face and pasted it hey, on his face. Tommy. Oh, hey, boss, what's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. I guess that's never good when you're taking the boss for a drive and he wants to know if you're packing heat. Would you look at this car? Yikes, this thing just screams money. So how's business, Tom? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened, happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person, though. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. 
Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Oh no, we just ding the car. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. I like how I plow his roadster into another car and he doesn't even bat an eyelash. To be fair, I am kind of driving like a dick, though. But we gotta get to Pepe's. Let's get some food into us. The name Pepe's it just sounds like a stereotypical Italian restaurant. Nice some time away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. Well, that's better conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though, we're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it? I kind of want to open the engine up on this thing here and see how fast this thing can go. But, knowing my luck in this game, some cop with eagle eye vision is going to see me ripping through the city. And a chase is going to ensue. So I probably should not do that. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Let's open this thing up. Wow, this thing moves. If I hit like a pebble on the road right now, I think we're going to roll 27 times down the road. I should probably, yeah. Let's put the governor on and keep things somewhat normal. But note to self, this car really moves. If I need a fast car, I'm taking this thing. This turn here reminds me of like one of the first missions I did with Polly to come beat up all those cars. I thought he said like this was the wrong side of town for us. Like this was Morello's neighborhood. I kind of wonder why we're going to Pepe's place if it's in Morello's neck of the woods. This could, this could be bad for us. I have been looking forward to this all week. Where will you taste the cassata, Tom? Oh. oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a... Don't say any. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother. She would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Penny. Oh, uh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? <laughs> See, please. <laughs> and to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the rough, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. Ooh. In other words, you make a mistake and I'm going to put one behind your ear. The for you? In the for you. Ah, <laughs> Pepe, the meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> uh, that's not good. That's uh, a lot of dudes with Thompsons. Get down! Let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! That's not really smoking them out. That's a hand grenade. That's blowing them out.
We aren't going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. So we got a shotgun and a pistol versus a whack of Thompson submachine guns. This is going to be gross. Okay, well that guy had a pistol. Alright, so maybe it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, the guy shoots like I do. Firing from the hip and hitting absolutely nothing. I like how there's a box of ammo in the back of this Italian restaurant. God, that never ceases to kill me. There's ammo everywhere in this city. Perfect, two for two. Where am I gonna go here? No, I did not see that guy. That guy really scared me. Wow. Somebody just walking down the alley right at me, firing from the hip. Yeah, better go to the pistol here because I'm not going to hit anything with a Thompson at that range. Okay, there's a lot more than five guys. I thought it was just going to be... Scrapping it out with five dudes and Thompsons. This is a lot worse. Uh, what do I got here? Grenades. That's definitely happening. I'll smoke you out. Also known as blowing you the fuck up. Oh, I think I definitely hit one guy there. And missed everybody else because I'm crap. Oh, no. I don't even know where I'm getting shot from. Alright, let's regroup and try to suck less here. Alright, back up to the corner now. Where are they? There's one guy. Yeah, there he is. Perfect. We're running low on the old Thompson ammo. Let's go to the pistol here and... You can see him there behind the car. Where is he? I don't really have a shot at him though. I'm going to have to move up. One shot, one kill. Perfect. Boss, it's clear. Oh, look at the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <laughs> To us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlos jacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Step out of Tom. Every minute Carlos still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards have the brass balls to wreck my car. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Then why would you I hire far him? Far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. And his sons will be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's going to make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dough to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. I can't help but think that was a bonehead move to hire you know what? him if his dad was friends with Morello. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. You take a guy in. You give him a place in your family. You give him respect. Oh, no, 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 no. This is how oh. he repays you? If he's done Can this, we talk about that for a second, that pro move there? The farm, the betting house, the ambush at the parking garage. Any of them could have been him. I couldn't do that again if I had a year of Sundays to practice. I'm happy with that that move. And the time we work it out is when his guys come this close to bumping me off. My 
guys, why don't you let me go first, huh? Garlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. No, oh, Garlo. What the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. <laughs> He was plowing her with his shoes on and his socks. Just a little one. Let me catch my breath. What a classy guy. Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away. You better run, Carlo. You're gonna die in boxers, knee socks, and loafers. That's not a way to go, bud. Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! Kill me. Yes, yes we are. Hey, we ain't finished with you. Tommy, please. I can explain. Think about this now. Please. Let me talk to the boss. I can explain. No, the boss wants to talk to you. Come back. Let him talk to you. Perfect. Is he still alive? Well, I'm not sure. Yeah, but he's buku fucked up. Buddy Hopley recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah, but it's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. God damn it! What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Step your cried. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> so the Ari must have figured Carlo was the rat. God damn it. <laughs> Even here myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! <laughs> We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell the little boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. Does anyone else think that Don Morello looks like Elliot Gould? Because I'm definitely getting an Elliot Gould vibe from him. What do you mean, who's Elliot Gould? How do you not know who that is? He's, he's a major American actor. I mean, he's been in everything. He was in the original MASH movie. He was in, I think, the Ocean's 11 movie. Maybe even Ocean's 12. Okay, come on. He was Ross and Monica's dad in Friends. Nothing. Ugh, oh, cinema is dead. Anyway, let's go and see the dawn. So, we're at war with Morello now. We've gone, quote-unquote, to the mattresses. Seen any trouble just yet. 
all the windows are boarded up at the bar, and there are guns and baseball bats everywhere, so... I guess we're well stocked for the apocalypse here. Maybe a zombie apocalypse, even. Hey, it true that Don slipped Carla the bump? Not you? Yeah. Wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Less than Carlos. Slip him the bump. That's a polite way of saying caved his head in like a overripe watermelon. I guess it's the politically correct way of saying things. Okay, so guns check, ammo check. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. Hired goons check. I think we're we're ready to rock and roll with Morello here. Just gonna wander around first and have a look and see if there's anything in here to pick up. And booze check. So we got booze, guns, ammo, hired goons. We're ready to go here. All right, let's go talk to the Don. Hard guys in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first we have to soften him up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off. So we need to scare them into abandoning Morello's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counts are still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. Counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just in normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way into the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom. Okay, this seems pretty straightforward. We're gonna go to the docks and find a way to get onto the boat where one of the help has stashed a gun and we're gonna plug Galati. I mean, it sounds easy in practice. I have a feeling it's, <laughs> it's gonna be anything, but first let's get some wheels and head to the docks. Not taking the hearse. <laughs> the hearse. Uh, still gonna drive that sometime. Not taking a bull. No. No. I think this thing moves pretty good. Let's take this. So I was just mulling it over when they said some janitor or whatever has planted a revolver in the bathroom. I'm just thinking about the scene from the Boondock Saints where Rocco has to go whack all those guys and they give him a six-shooter revolver. If you don't know what I'm talking about, first off, you need to see the Boondock Saints. Fantastic movie, cult classic. Second one was kind of shit, but the original is really good. But David Della Rocco's character, who incidentally is named Rocco, is a very low level, like as low as you can get Aaron Boy for some Italian crime family. And they want him to get, well, I don't want to give too much away, but they want him to go and whack a bunch of people and they end up giving him 
a six shooter and there's far too many guys for six rounds let's just leave it at that so i, I have a feeling that this is kind of what i'm walking into here's your revolver take on an entire boat full of dudes wielding guns anyways for those that have seen the boondock saints i have a feeling i'm about to have a jafar moment here Okay, let's cram this car into... Yeah, good enough. Looks like a parking spot. Good enough for me. Alright, and let's find Sam somewhere around here. Attention, folks. Attention. We'll get you all aboard. Hot dogs. Get your hot dogs tickets. here. Taste as good as they smell. Be searched for safety. Thank you for your patience. Where is Sam? The finest family in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? And all this Terrence! You got an invite to... Oh, there he is. Handsome devil. You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hits something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. Well, that's serendipitous. Bringing his own security, hey? Can't say blame the guy. All the Lost Heaven Queen crew must be on the lookout. Sure. Alright. We'll just rifle around this place a little more and then we'll go find Rear Admiral Unconscious somewhere in the back and get his uniform off of him. There's my Huckleberry. Let's get you out of those pants there, champ. Wow. Tommy, you're looking pretty snazzy there, bud. Looks like you're ready to report for duty aboard the USS Rough Service. Ah, Navy jokes. So little time. So many to make. Alright, let's return to Sam. Who is undoubtedly going to laugh at us for these crisp Navy whites. I know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech. Pop him when he's done. How do I get away? Molly's borrowed a speed bus. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen him. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Looking good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits ya. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. Love that crack security squad, eh? You think he's gonna pull this off? You're the new guy, come on in. Sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. You don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. Almost done? Sleeping yeah. In separate room. Was gonna go clean the bathroom. She's Heard some guests girl. complaining. I feel You're volunteering to clean toilets? I'd rather <laughs> work separate anyways, but you got a rag there. Check every deck. Yep. I should clarify as to why I felt the need to rip on the Navy moments ago. You see, I spent over a decade in the Army, so it's extremely hardwired into my DNA at this point to make fun of anything and everything Navy. And let's be honest, you guys don't make it hard for us, uh, the white uniforms, the white shoes and whatnot. But hey, you know what? You made your decision. Far be it for me to call it a bad one. Go Army. Okay, you know what? To be fair, I'll throw the Navy a bone here. At least together we can be united in making fun of the Air Force, right? So, 
You know what? I'm I'm just gonna stop talking before I continue to alienate all of YouTube. So, anyways, uh, back to Tommy. All right, let's go find this bathroom with my revolver stashed in it. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. Why is that guy wearing a different uniform than everybody else? Listen, shitmate, go someplace else. Did he just call me shitmate? <laughs> and <laughs> I gotta remember that one for the next time I make fun of the Navy. <laughs> that actually is hilarious. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's find some bathrooms here. Or the head, as they're called in the Navy. Ask the crew about the janitor. Know where I can find the janitor? Back in a boat. Trunk is a skunk in the engine. Same as always. Figures. Thanks. Back of the boat in the engine room. The janitor is drunk as a skunk. Uh, engine room? Nope, that is the bathroom. Say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. Is that a dog drawing? I'm wondering what the significance of that is on the engine there, if anything. Anyway, to the stern of the boat, also known as the back, for those not nautically inclined. gonna do about it. Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. <laughs> well, that was a very quick fight. Alright, let's get this guy and his weird blue uniform over the side. Think I can throw him over the side? Uh, confirmed I can. Oh, no. Oh, go, go, go. Yes. Perfect. And yet... He is staying static right beside the boat. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, well, let's get our gun. Come on. Where the fuck are you? All right. Now we got ourselves a gat. Let's go put it to use and not end up like Jafar. Alright, well Buddy's body is casually slipped beneath the waves, which is bueno for us. Find a vantage point. Uh, I'm gonna go another deck higher would be perfect. Nobody behind the wheel. What kind of ship is this? That is a lot of fireworks. I don't know how many per se that would be, but I'm going to go with a metric ass ton. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, 
So that guy is way down there, and I have a small snub nose revolver to shoot him with. If you have been following this series at all, you know that this is going to be interesting because I am crap at shooting. A victim of the deceased, that is, organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. And for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? All right, Tommy, here's your chance. Don't cock this up. Perfect. One shot, one kill. All right, now I just gotta... Oh, man. Well, <laughs> I emptied the rest of the revolver at that guy and didn't kill him, so... I think I'm back to my old self. Oh. It's kind of hard to see these guys through the fireworks going off. Don't have a ton of ammo, so I gotta be kind of circumspect here as to what kind of gunfights I get into for now. Escape to speedboat. Well, that's gonna be down a couple of decks for sure. Okay, clip that guy, that's perfect. Uh, is there anybody else? I'm not seeing anybody. I think I'm gonna top up on health here. Because I don't know what I'm gonna run into downstairs. I'm assuming more of the same. There's a lot of guys down there. Perfect. Okay, so far so good. Excellent. Okay, running low on ammo though. Oh, never mind, spoke too soon. What's that there? Is that a Thompson? Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Just to spray and pray ammo. I think I went down pretty good. I'm getting better with the Thompson. I mean, still crap with it, but any improvement's a good thing, I guess. Okay, shouldn't have walked out there. That guy's got a Thompson of his own. And, okay, I spoke too soon. I'm still crap. Just mag dumped into that guy and barely killed him. I'll go down, and where does it want me to go? Around the corner. Oh no. Almost ran out in front of those guys. Okay, perfect. I think there's two more down there. Come on. Oh. Excellent. That wasn't too bad. So I got half my health. Should be able to get out of here right now. Yeah, let's get out of here. Go, come on, punch it, Chewie. Let's get out of here. And I guess that's going to end this part. This one was super fun to play. A lot of gunfights. Uh, had a blast playing it. Got to rip on the Navy a little bit. So, bonus. But in all seriousness, if you did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below with what you liked. And even what you didn't like. Um, even if you didn't like me ripping on the Navy, let me know and we'll, we'll discuss it. But... 
Seriously, though, thanks for stopping by. I had a great time playing this one. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the bell so you know when part 9 comes out. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I'll talk to you soon.